When did we start thinking that we owned everything? Was it when the indigenous were killed? Those that to nature love did bring? When their voices spoke with the elders of the trees? When they spoke the wisdom of their ancestors on the breeze? Was this when the balance changed? When the other man took over their plains? To whip the horses? To capture people and animals for ownership of land? To make their pockets full? And this is the thing. They made their pockets full of the elders' dust, and now we see them come back, for that change is a must. Those that have been chosen to be part of the Hopi prophecy, this shake-up that is needed, returning some of nature's stability, from a world that still treats animals as an attraction, locked up in tiny tanks and cages for human satisfaction, from condors to lions, I've seen it all, where large animals can't even think of standing tall. From dolphin kisses and shows still bringing in the crowds, how in this day and age is this still allowed? Okay, you may say, they wouldn't survive in the wild, but who are we to make that statement that is not so mild? Maybe Mother Nature will always look after her own, even released from captivity, once injured and now home. I sing to the trees now. I don't care who sees. My guardian, a powerful chief, who always guides me. Yes, it took a while for me to finally believe, but I know he's there from the feathers that I find and then place in my hair. He guides me to show me what isn't right, seeing stray dogs starving, crying and dead in the night. I chose this journey to report to others what I see, hearing the animals, shutting out those who call me crazy, seeing through different eyes and listening again to the trees in the boughs near the skies and the patterns of the bees. The planet is crying from many people with their heads in the sand. Maybe they turn a blind eye because they're ashamed of where they stand. Or maybe it's because we're now so disconnected. It's not my problem. Someone else can direct it. Honestly, I don't care. For I believe we are all to blame. But for her, it's not fair. And Mother Earth is her name. So open your eyes when you travel the world afar. Get out of your luxury bubble and take your legs to the streets afar. See the truth of how the reality is and lift that hinge of Pandora's box and see how others live.